cactus of the day in here I'm moving out plants I try to get the ones that I think will flower and put them into full sun because this spot here is a little bit you know darker than it's supposed to be this is just for overwintering so now I'm moving the plants outside into full sun trying to give them the maximum sun that I can give them the only ones that are that will stay in the greenhouse are the large ones because I cannot move them anymore my health isn't great and they are heavy so when you're moving them around you always risk that they break off like that the tip breaks off so yeah I'm not doing that anymore theoretically it's better to have them outside but yeah um, it's just not doable anymore at some point when they are two meters tall oh uh oh this isn't good this is very bad um, yeah this one is supposed to be flowering this year but this species the species that's used for this hybrid is relatively slender thin somewhat prostrate they're they're like creeping on the ground partially partially growing upright and partially uh, creeping and they achieve this by breaking off sometimes yeah not good I really don't like this so now the flower season is done mostly for this one I need to put it into like a dry spot so the wound can heal then it will be like rooted again but yeah I don't see this plant flowering now that's sad check this out something ate a hole into my old greenhouse I'm devastated like this is I mean it's not a expensive greenhouse in it on its last leg but guys who eats a hole into a greenhouse I mean I don't know what what kind of rodent this was but it's I'm greatly disappointed it let me down. So I am moving my seedlings out of the greenhouse. These are all medium sized seedlings. These are from, I don't know, maybe one and a half years ago. And uh, yeah, I thought that they would probably not be flowering this year. They are too small. So I removed them from the best spots. I had them at the best spot to get them through the winter because the small seedlings are super vulnerable and now I'm moving them out of the greenhouse so I can move the plants that might be flowering this year in the same spots and I use these old wooden things just to have the weeds away because otherwise the grass will be growing like insanely and uh, it's hard to to clear the area when you have the plants there you need to remove all the plants then clear the area and then put them back it's a lot of work so this might save me a little bit in here in the greenhouse i have uh, this is a good spot it gets sun very early in the morning and everything that's bigger like this and this and this will stay here and Everything that might not flower today will go outside simply because, you know, it's raining outside. They get a lot of sunlight. They get more sunlight than they would get in the greenhouse. So, yeah. Um, but the flowering size plants fit very well here because the greenhouse is hotter, gets a lot of sun early. So, I don't know, the greenhouse effect just helps them to flower more. So, yeah, that's why I'm emptying the area and move some larger plants in here would take me a day or two so i'm finally getting somewhere this is just what was on one shelf in my like in my third greenhouse and the greenhouse that i have is an old one it's falling apart but still they look pretty good i'm very happy with them um, these need to be singled out now no space for them yet but this year I will have to sort out everything that doesn't flower perfectly so yeah I just have to continuously sort out stuff that I have space for the ones that I'm growing from seeds because growing from seeds is amazing it's one of the most rewarding hobbies that I ever had 
and it keeps the the dark thoughts away all right um, I have the larger plants moved into the greenhouse now these are all plants where I have hopes that they could flower this year so I moved them at the best spot to give them uh, the best chance of flowering yeah a few smaller ones not sure about these maybe I'll move these outside again but yeah apart from that this is all flowering material and I hope that at least some of them will flowering will be flowering for the first time this year a lot of these have never flowered before they are grown from seeds and the flower is a total mystery everyone is a like is a is a mystery so let's see how it goes this season <laughs> 